Did you guys know that back in the days, malt men would turn malted barley by hand and therefore would develop this strain injury on their shoulders called monkey shoulder? All right guys, so welcome back to Bottled and Bond and today on Mix It Up Fridays, we're gonna once again take a trip over to uh, Scotland and this time we're gonna visit the space side area of Scotland. If you guys remember, that's right above the Highlands and we're gonna go visit the Monkey Shoulder Distillery. Now, one thing that's neat about Monkey Shoulder is that it's just like the other single malt, you know, but the difference is that they actually source their whiskey from three different distilleries, and that being Glenfiddich, Balvini, and Kininvi. I think I said that right? So what they do is they mash it all up together to combine this blended whiskey, and they call it Monkey Shoulder. Monkey Shoulder is coming in at 43% alcohol by volume, making it an 86 proof. Now going back to what I said in the beginning, how back in the day, the malt men would turn the barley by hand and known fact they actually still do but the injury no longer exists and the injury they would uh sometimes get was called monkey shoulder hence the name monkey shoulder <laughs> this specific batch is batch number 27 and let's not forget as i said it is coming from a uh, space side area of scotland and one little neat thing about Monkey Shoulder is that their bottles have three little metallic monkeys, little metal iron little monkeys that are right there. And uh, if you so happen to finish this bottle, however long it may take you, uh, if you're gonna throw away the bottle, just remove that. It's a nice little trinket to uh, keep and you know have her on your bar, around the chain, around in your junk drawer. I don't care. Just. We'll get rid of the bottle without uh, getting taking this off. The Monkey Shoulder Company is family owned since 1887. And according to this, they uh, import it by William Grant and Sons in New York and New York. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh. Fairly sweet honey notes, glaze, aromas. Not peated, of course, being that it's a space side, but you kind of get that light barley, a little, it, it's almost like a rice smell with a very small nose of corn, although this is 100% malted barley. Similar nose to the cork. The, the grassiness of it, almost grassy, salty smell of it, it gives those aromas like the, the vanilla and the honey and the syrupy and the glazed brown sugar. It gives all those simple notes that a typical bourbon has and just kind of like throws them out there in a very small way. But the grassy, salty, rooty smells of this scotch just overpower it to where you can still pick up those notes and it, it gives for a great nosing, but it's not quite there. I'm picking up a little mint, like a mint leaf, almost like a mint candy, like a peppermint candy. This almost gives the note of ginger ale as well. It might be having to do with the rootiness of it. These are the notes that I'm getting. I always told you guys, it's not the same thing you guys are gonna pick up. So mind me when it comes to the nosing and the tasting pick up your own notes and pick yourself up some monkey shoulder why not yeah almost like a soda um some kind of a uh the same hints that you will get from one of the carbonated waters like a flavored carbonated water oh, sweet though like i said that's why i, I kind of picked up that ginger ale bottoms up there's that grassiness smokiness i'm telling you if this is a blended whiskey and balvini is one of the ones that's in here. 
think I'm definitely gonna enjoy the Balvini right here. Having recently tried Glenfiddich, I can pick it up as well. It's, the flavors are so expanding. You have an array of different flavors. And if you go back just a little bit, you're gonna hear where I said that it's, it's like a bourbon where you have those sweet notes but they're so faint because of the smoke and the grassy and the salty and still sweet notes, peppermint, a uh, little vanilla, almost like a charred vanilla. Most of the notes are mo more tailored towards smoky, like a sm smoked pecan, a little molasses, just a little clove, uh, maybe some cinnamon in there. But it's almost like if you got these ingredients and charred them, smoked them with a freaking flamethrower. I'm gonna be honest, I really don't mind this. I think it's a good scotch. Uh, it's a blend of whiskey, which is not my typical go-to, but I do recommend it. I think they're a great company. I think they're their process of blending these whiskeys and uh, handpicking the different batches and how they came about the idea of a monkey shoulder having all these different unique flavors this is a specific combination of all three and i think it's great i think it's good it's not sweet delicious it is more like a good mellow taste to your palate that's very easy to drink neat no need for ice cubes or anything and the longer you drink it and savor it in your palate the more notes you're going to pick up because if you notice i started off with these subtle notes and the more i kept talking and talking the longer just my palate was developing i kept picking up all these other different things like the peppermint and the cinnamon and then I said it was more like a char, like the smoked almonds. The bite is so mellow in it that, that I think that's what makes it easy, easy to drink. As it goes into your mouth, you feel no burn, no bite, no nothing. And as it hits the back, it's so mellow and smoky. It's like a good mustardy smoke with nuts and pecans and almonds and just different nutty smoky, a little mustardy flavors to it that's delicious gets my vote. Nonetheless, ladies and gents, if you thought anything different, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you guys have any suggestions on what I should be reviewing next on either a Monday, bourbon, or a Friday, any other whiskey, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Hit the like button. Please share, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, tell your friends about it. I appreciate you guys subscribing. I appreciate all the likes, the comments, and every single view that I've gotten ever since I started this show. Please drink responsibly. I'm Ozzy. This is Monkey Shoulder from Space Side Region, and this is Bottled and Bond. Cheers. Mm -hmm.